Tonight, we are digging deeper into those troubling claims against Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill. Those accusations outlined in a memo that we obtained today from the Associated Press, originally published by the Indy Star. Now, the Attorney General is denying allegations of inappropriate touching and remarks toward multiple women, also adding in his third statement since the news broke that he will not resign. Governor Eric Holcomb returns from vacation tomorrow, so we could hear from the governor on this story very soon. And our Emily Longnecker is talking tonight to a political science expert about this memo and what she thinks could and should happen going forward. The memo outlines the accusations against Attorney General Curtis Hill, claims about his alleged behavior towards several women at a bar, including groping and inappropriate touching and comments. At this point, just understanding what really went on, and nonetheless, it's something that we do take really seriously. UND political science professor Dr. Laura Wilson says at this point there are no legal proceedings, but that's not to say there couldn't be. Legally, I don't know that there could be a repercussion, at least in terms of the work and the office behavior. Um, but that said, I, a lawyer might find a different interpretation of the statute. The memo prepared by a law firm details an investigation by legislative leaders after allegations by four women one lawmaker and three legislative employees. Staffers say Hill told a group of them they would get free drinks or faster service if they showed more knee or more leg. But the lawmaker claims a very intoxicated Hill put his hands on her back, slid them down her buttocks, put them under her clothes and grabbed a handful of... The representative adding she told Hill to quote back off but that the AG did the same thing again later that night. The report found that while the, quote, alleged conduct toward the legislative employees was inappropriate, it was likely not severe or pervasive enough to result in a hostile work environment. Dr. Wilson thinks everyone would benefit from a closer look at the allegations. Hill claims that he's innocent, and certainly if he is, he would want this kind of investigation too. It'd be better, I think, for Hoosiers to understand exactly what happened and whether or not it, it was as it said, if it was different, and just some more clarity and accountability. As of right now, the Marion County prosecutor has not been contacted. If he is, Terry Curry says the matter would most likely involve a special prosecutor. And Emily, the attorney general not happy at all with how this investigation was handled? No, not at all, Scott. He calls it prejudicial and says the lack of due process is deeply troubling. Hill claims he was never contacted by an investigator and has been denied access to the memo. All right, Emily, thank you so much. And